so hi everyone good morning all so today we are going to discuss how to set up kubernetes in windows environment here okay that means if you want to set up in windows environment we need mini cube software in our local system then only we can deploy it. Uh, our Kubernetes applications, like our Spring Boot applications, we can deploy into Kubernetes here. You can ask me a question. We can set up Kubernetes in Azure, AWS, and Google Cloud as well. If you want to set up in AWS, it is a price. You need to pay amount to AWS uh, to creation of Kubernetes. Yes, GCP is also a free. So a lot of people are thinking like, uh, I don't have a credit card, then how I can uh, install, uh, how I can practice my Kubernetes in the cloud environment. It's kind of a same as it is, except few changes uh, while working with the Kubernetes here. Only in cloud environment, you have a software, just you are deploying the application. But here, the software setup we are doing in the Windows environment here. Only this is the difference. First, you should be comfortable, okay, in Minikube, Kubernetes environment in local system. Once you are good, then it's very easy, straightforward creation of Kubernetes in the GCP also here. Okay, hope you guys are clear this point. Okay, now, if you have any questions, put a message in the chat box, guys. Okay, to set up mini cube in Windows environment, okay, we need to download two softwares, guys. One for the mini cube software, another for the cube CTL. Okay, like if you want to interact with the Kubernetes master node, we have two options, right? Like a command line and UI based. The command line, tool is nothing but cube ctl that software is nothing but cube ctl software okay we need to configure then only i can deploy my all my spring boot applications or microservices whatever we have we can deploy as well once we downloaded these two things okay and we need to set environmental variables for cube ctl and mini cube to work with a mini cube in your local system, Docker should be run in your local system. And then if you use a mini cube start, okay, automatically your mini cube will be ready for you. And mini cube status, it will display status of your mini cube in your local system. Even in our Windows, okay, by using mini cube. We can create cluster environment as well. It can create two nodes, three nodes, four nodes, like in uh, cloud environment, how we can create in the same way. Here also I can create my nodes also here. Anyway, I will demonstrate you how to set up this system. The first step is click this link, okay? And <clears throat> let me open the browser. <clears throat> Okay, here just type as a mini cube here, guys. If you type as a mini cube, just visit official website. This is the official website, mini cube start Kubernetes here. Okay, mini cube is a local Kubernetes focusing, making easy to learn and develop Kubernetes. Once you are comfortable, then you can jump into cloud environment and then we can practice complete Kubernetes here. So it is asking, see, all you need is a Docker or similarly compatible container or virtual machine environment and Kubernetes is a single command way mini cube start. This is the command. Okay, what you will need? Two CPU cores, two GB of free memory, 20 GB of hard disk and internet connection. These are the things is required here, guys. See, virtual machine managed containers are Docker, HyperKit, Hyper-V. These are all kind of a different kinds of containerization managers. So that's fine. Now, installation on Windows, see, Linux, Mac OS or Windows. By default is Windows is chosen. Architecture, stable version. Installer type is .exe download. The first command, if you are able to see, download and run installer for latest release. 
or you can use PowerShell. Either two approaches, you can download the software. Either if you click the latest release, uh, it will be go to the GitHub. See, Minikube installer is downloaded to you here, guys. Are you able to see? The software is downloaded quickly if you click. Or if you want to know PowerShell, see, this is the command, guys. Just copy this full command. If you click on the copy, here you are able to see in your local system, it will create one folder called Minikube. Inside the Minikube, you can able to see .exe file. Okay. Now let me copy here. See, uh, you can open not command prompt. It should be the PowerShell. So PowerShell, uh, this is PowerShell commands, not command prompt commands. Okay. Now just paste it here. Just paste it. Now it will start downloading okay your mini cube in your local system are you able to see writing request stream number of bytes written see it is taking some time let it download your mini cube <coughs> Okay, this is one of the approach where you can download by using the PowerShell as well. Okay, so here you have an option directly why I need to go ahead this all the things click on the latest release. Anyway, it is downloaded in your local system. The software see mini cube installer here. This is the software guys mini cube installer. So what you need to do copy. Copy this one guys. Remember these points. Okay, go to the C drive here. Uh, okay, already software is downloaded. Mm, still, it is downloading. Just I am canceling right uh, straight away, guys. Not required anymore. Okay, now here I am creating one folder, guys. Okay, I am creating one folder called Mini Cube. Okay, uh, or I can say okay, um, yeah, Mini Cube. Kubernetes. Just I am creating one folder like this, guys. Okay. Now here I am keeping your software. See, this is the software. Next, rename the name, guys. Rename this file name with only Minikube here. This is the first step you should do inside. Okay, for Minikube setup here, guys. Are you guys clear about this one? Okay, this is for mini cube is downloaded. The second step is as per the diagram. Okay, we need to install cube CTL. Okay, directly in the official website, we have an option just to have a look here. Cube CTL download. Okay, see install and set up cube CTL on Windows. Okay, now if you come down, see here, install cube CTL binary with the curl on Windows here. See, install binary curl on either you can use a curl command if you have a Linux environment or directly you can use the download the latest patch release. This is the option. Click here. See, cube CTL is also downloaded in your local system. Now two softwares are ready now. Let me keep it here. Mm, keep anyway. It is downloading. Yes, download is completed. Now let me click this option. Okay. See, downloaded. Now again, copy. Copy this option. Go to C drive. And where is our mini cube? This is our mini cube and paste it here. Now, two softwares are available to start our mini cube. Now, the next step is we need to okay set the environmental variable. Now, copy. This is the URL, guys. Now, copy this URL and open your command prompt in your local system. Sorry, uh, environmental variables. Search it here, environmental variables. Click on environmental variables and here we have an option called path are you able to see uh, either you can paste it on the user variables or in the system variables. Anything is fine here in uh, environmental variables on the user variables. Just I already used another folder. Just I'm replacing it here guys. Now in your use case mini cube 
kubernetes here if you keep the uh, path here from the command prompt directly you can use your mini cube start and mini cube status before going to run these commands okay you should use you should create a docker that means docker should be installed in our local system now again let me open the command prompt here okay now clear the screen here docker version just type the docker version the error may indicate that docker daemon is not running that means in my local system docker is not running so i restarted my system so let me uh, uh, run my docker okay use docker desktop so it will start our docker engine and then we can set up our application so downloading your docker images for minikube it will take some time now anyway i will demonstrate you still my docker desktop is about to start Yeah, now your Docker desktop is starting. Okay, now open the command prompt. Again, have a look Docker version. Yes, now your Docker is running here. Now clear the screen. Now we kept as a mini cube as an environmental variable, right? Now use mini cube start. Now it will, what it will happen? It will create, okay? It will create mini cube setup in your local system by using mini cube start command here. It will download Docker images as well in your application. If you see here, uh, I'm open another command prompt, Docker images. If you type it here, I have a lot of Docker images are available for you. It will create, this is the Docker image, guys. See, gcr.io, Kubernetes mini cube. This is the link, guys. It's around almost one GB you have, guys. Okay, for initial time, already one time I downloaded in my local system. So it will be a fast, but whoever doing in your local system, it will take at least five minutes or five to 10 minutes for the first time. Why? Because from the network, it needs to download one GB. So that's why. See here, using Docker image. Yes, done. kubectl is now configured to use mini cube cluster and a default namespace by default. Are able to see kubectl is configured to use mini cube cluster okay now if you see mini cube status you can able to see status of the mini cube uh, software now see if you are able to see mini cube type control plane host running kubectl running api server running cube configured con all the things is configured as per architecture here like a master node worker node okay pods containers api server is a entry point for application control plane is nothing but master node okay if you want to know okay uh, add cluster information like i mean to say by default by default just if i want to know status about it will create a local cluster basically okay if i want to know suppose status of the application see here let me increase the font size to you mini cube okay mini cube uh, status okay hyphen p okay local cluster just let me show you uh, what information we have now see here local cluster control plane stopped 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 and cluster m02 m03 i created some worker nodes as well so that's why local cluster right now it is not running by default if you use kubectl get nodes now you know kubectl commands see your worker node is ready that means your master node here 
here my point is i want to deploy my application into multiple worker nodes multiple replicas i want to create to do that activity okay mini cube is given some kind of commands for us okay what is the first command we can use is okay here we have a concept of nodes see here mini cube start okay hyphen hyphen nodes how many nodes you want it will create internally for containers to you guys okay for hyphen p local cluster okay this nodes while creation i want to keep a docker engine that is called docker driver this is the command to create how many number of worker nodes you want if you click it will start a worker nodes for you if you use mini cube start it will create only one node to work on your kubernetes applications but if you use node equal to this a cluster environment in aws or uh, gcp when you create a cluster by default two nodes it will create the same replica i can do in my windows environment as well now see now it is creating two nodes for you by using the command i can see restarting existing docker containers preparing kubernetes on docker starting control plane node local cluster docker driver on existing profile why because docker is the minimum software required here okay let it be it is taking some time <clears throat> verifying kubernetes components okay in the meanwhile here we can check our status as well okay uh, what is the one mini cube status hyphen p your local cluster now see your local cluster is started running another cluster see worker node now worker node here this is not okay this is another part now it is a local cluster hyphen m02 why because two nodes this is one node and this is if you create three nodes another cluster it will create how many nodes you want based on our cpu percentage uh, our system base it will do that still it is a starting worker node cluster m03 now it is starting guys see here we'll wait for some time and we'll see now if you see this is your master node and these two are worker nodes as per diagram yesterday diagram the only difference cloud kubernetes local kubernetes load balancer will not support only that is the difference remaining everything it will work for you guys the, but the way of running commands will be a different using mini cube if it is a kubernetes directly cube ctl commands but i need to start local environment and everything right now see here done it's completed here now if you see here again if you run the same command status of the cluster mini cube status hyphen p local cluster now see here this is a local cluster wait it is configured a worker node and this is another worker node and this is another worker node how many you want you can mention the number here guys nodes is equal to two or nodes equal to three like this you can set up in your local system okay now we are set up is completed here for the mini cube installation as per okay let me navigate to the powerpoint presentation yes now as per okay uh set up mini cube installation is completed i verified the status of the cluster and i verified the nodes of the cluster now we need to deploy our spring boot application into our kubernetes here okay if you have any questions put a message in the comment box guys okay